properties of inverse of a function. Suppose y equals to f of x is a function defined on a domain d and has a range r. Then by the definition of function for every value of independent variable x in the domain d there exists a certain value of dependent variable y in the range r and if under the same domain and range for every value of y in the range r there corresponds one and only one value of x in the domain d then we say that the inverse function of y equals to f of x exists and is given by x equals to g of y in this video we will discuss some important properties of the inverse of a function according to the first property a function f has an inverse if and only if the function f is one one function the inverse of f is denoted by this and is read as f inverse and the function f inverse is also one one function According to the second property if f inverse is not a function then f is not invertible so we can use the vertical line test to verify whether f inverse is a function or not according to the third property the inverse of f inverse is the function f this means that if we reverse the action of f inverse we will get the original function f whose inverse was f inverse this may sound confusing so in simple language if a function is turning a mango into a mango shake then the inverse function is turning the mango shake back to a mango and the inverse of the inverse function is again turning the mango into a mango shake which is the same work as done by the original function according to the fourth property a function f of x equals to y if and only if f inverse of y equals to x this means that the ordered pair x y are on the graph of the function f if and only if the ordered pair y x are on the graph of the function f inverse according to the fifth property the domain of the function f inverse is the same as the range of the function f and the range of the function f inverse is same as the domain of the function f this means that the domain and range get reversed under the inverse function according to the sixth property the inverse of a bijection is unique and is also a bijection this means that if f is a bijection then f inverse will also be a bijection According to the seventh property if f inverse is an inverse of the function f defined on two different sets then the composition functions f inverse of equals to ia and f of inverse equals to ib where ia and ib are the identity functions on the sets a and b respectively This means that if f inverse is an inverse of function f then the composition function f inverse of equals to x for all x belongings to the domain of f and the composition function f of inverse equals to y for all y belongings to the range of f according to the eighth property if f inverse is an inverse of function f defined on two equal sets then the composition function f inverse of equals to f of inverse equals to ia where ia is the identity function on the set a this means that if f inverse is an inverse of function f then the composition function f inverse of equals to f of inverse equals to x for all x belongings to domain of f